Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been such a long time since I've done a video. Um, life just happened and I've been like really, really busy. Um, but yeah, I'm back now. As you guys know, I am due to have a baby soon. Actually, really soon. Like, I'm technically now 37 weeks. So, I've got, what, three weeks to go or something like that. And uh, I haven't packed my hospital bag yet because I have just been, um, I want to say like, I don't want to say like lazy, but I've just been like delaying it and I don't know why really. I don't know if it's just because I'm really tired or is it because I'm just, I don't know, just been, I don't want to say scared either, but I don't know. I just, I've been delaying it anyway. But today, this morning has been a bit of a weird morning. So yeah, my plan was this morning to wake up. Do my makeup and just like get ready and uh, then film the video. It's now 3 p.m. and uh, obviously that didn't work out the plan because I couldn't feel baby move so much this morning. So I ended up calling the triage unit and I was called to come in to check for reduced movement. Um, so they, I said I was not, I mean like I was there not for long, really not even an hour maybe and they were able to check and baby was fine but I was told that if you know if I get any more of this reduce movement or if I feel like baby's moving less at any point then I have to call them to um, and then come back for a check I am due to have a scan anyway on Thursday so we'll see how that goes but that is why um, this morning I didn't film the video this morning and that's why I look really tired as well so at the start um, packing my hospital bag I'm gonna start by packing baby stuff just because I don't think I might need as much as I will need for myself so for baby what's baby gonna need uh, so I've got two hats for baby um, one is obviously gonna wear it on this when it comes home and then one is gonna have um, maybe as soon as he's born really and this one's really cute because it says born in 2024 can you see it so two hats for him. Also, it's gonna have two socks. Um, they're both quite like warm socks. We live in I live in England. Um, it's now July. Baby's due in August. It's currently raining right now. I'm wearing a jumper, so I'm definitely definitely gonna carry socks with me. But look how cute these socks look. <laughs> so adorable. Okay. Anyway. Next thing I'm gonna uh, take with me is some scratch mittens. I don't think he will really need them uh, because the um, bodysuit and vest have built-in like little glove thingy. But I'm gonna carry just in case I need it. Also, I'm gonna carry a couple of uh, um, bibs. Nothing special, but they're quite cheap from Amazon. It came with. I think there was about 10, 10 of them or something like that. I'm just gonna cut it in case. Again, I don't think I'll need it, but I'd rather have it than not having any, especially if I do end up needing it. After that, I think I'll need some muslin and I've got two muslin here, um, this size. Then next I'm gonna have some um, vest um, and I'm gonna have uh, two of these, which is from uh, uh, zero to three months. And then I'm gonna have the um, same um, vest, but um, newborn stage. So in case it's too big, it will fit in the other one, but if it's, you know, good size, I guess, normal size, it will fit in this one. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the uh, body sleep suit, I guess they're called. I'm gonna have these ones that are um, zero to, well, newborn, up to one month. And I'm gonna have these two that are from three months, from zero to three months. Um, and I quite like this is cute because it says daddy. So it says, I love daddy. I'm gonna show you, really cute. Yeah, so as I was saying earlier about the meetings, this one, for example, has like a built-in thingy and then you pop his hand over it. And it closes. So, I mean, this one has it and then this one doesn't. So, in case I need to, he needs to wear this one and I've got some scratch meeting in case it's required. 
and again I try to go for the zip in my, most of these clothes because I had that a lot easier obviously in some cases I couldn't find it so I have buttons but we'll manage but cloth wise this is all I'm taking with me if more is required and then obviously my husband can bring them in if I end up having a c-section or I have to stay in hospital for longer with baby then um, my husband knows where his clothes are anyway so he will have to just come pick a few more and bring it uh, to the hospital um, for us Then also what I'm going to carry with me for baby is this blanket it's just a normal blanket nothing special um, just a cute little blanket that is gonna um, I'm gonna put it on 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 top of him when he's in the car seat so for the drive home as well as when we leave the hospital in the car seat as well with him we're gonna add this little addition this cute little bunny um, she's gonna keep him company and then very last thing which is also very important is this uh, caddy I have uh, I've got some wipes in here as well as nappies I've got two different type of nappies um, some of them are gotten from Lidl and the others are Pampers again I wanted to have two different types just because I wasn't sure what baby might need uh, another thing that we got is baby uh, going home outfit obviously I'm not going to show that once it's because I'm um, one thing is because I'm not sure if we have fully decided that that's going to be the outfit, outfit to go home and also just because it's we're going to take picture in uh, in those in that outfit so we're not going to show it just yet another thing that i need to carry with me that i'm not going to pack just yet it will be some ready milk uh, i believe the brand i'm using is up to meal um, and they come with like ready bottles so like the bottle is pre-made the little cup for baby to drink that is if I, there's always the possibility that I might not be able to breastfeed or I'm struggling to bring, to have any milk at that moment. If that's the case, I want to have something ready for him to have. So I'm not going to pack those until, um, what, well, the day I'm going to hospital. And one thing I forgot to say that in this little caddy bag, I've also added some uh, nappy cream. Again, I don't think I'll need it on the, um, in hospital, but as I said, if I stay for longer, then I'm, I will use it and some vitamin D drops. These are just a sample size. Uh, it, can last, it will last up to 15 days. And, um, and this is if I'm breastfeeding. So if I breastfeed or if I can't breastfeed on the, while I'm in hospital, then I was advised to put some um, vitamin D drops either on my nipple or just like put in his mouth just before he starts you know, eating. For me, what do I need to pack for myself? Um, clothes is one thing I need, but I haven't really thought um, or decided on what I want to wear to the hospital uh, or my going home outfit. My plan though is also to have a water birth. So if I do have a water birth and if it's successful, my plan is just to wear like a simple sport bra, which looks like that. Um, if this gets ruined or bloody, I can just chuck it away after giving birth. Um, I also am going to have my um, two pair of maternity bras, I'm going to take them with me. So these are the ones I have, these ones are for Prime, from Primark. Um, and I've got another one from uh, another brand that is supposed to be delivered today, I'm still waiting for them to be delivered. Um, so I'm going to carry one of each, so one from Primark and one from that. Skincare wise, I haven't packed anything yet because everything that I use for my skincare I'm currently using. But what I was thinking of doing is actually getting a little bottle, like a little travel bottle and fill them up with what I use for my skincare and then pack them in a bag. And I've also decided to bring some, um, so let me just get them, some uh, socks. Um, again, they two different pair. One is lighter, one is a bit thicker. Again, as I said, I live in England. <laughs> it's raining now. It's not very warm outside. So in case on the day I'm actually cold and I need socks, I've got them. I also then have this washcloth that I'm going to use to wash myself uh, on the day that either after giving birth or before giving birth. I'm going to have a couple of days and carry them with me. Now for my lady, spa, lady part, which is probably the <laughs> most important part, I have um, bought some, this, the, I think they're called like what are they? Underwear. <laughs> They're like underwear, but like that maternity underwear. I went for the Always brand because I always use Always, even for my period. I always <laughs> I use the Always brand. 
So I stuck to this and uh, it's had quite good reviews so I thought why not. Another thing that I'm going to have in case that I'm going to use as well. I might not need it but I got it just in case. It's this maternity pad. I was told by the midwife if, if I'm at home and, my, and I think my water have broken to put on maternity pads. Do not use um, normal pads because they'll be able to tell... Um, you know if it's actually like what i don't know my plan was to um pack the entire box for both the only thing is because i have i've always had very heavy periods and uh, sorry baby it's just kicking me <laughs> like mad so yeah i've always had quite heavy periods and um i just don't want to be caught up and then needing so many and struggling so I'd rather just take the entire thing with me and the other thing that I have also got is this, it's a petty bottle. I was told if I do have a vaginal birth, this would be my best friend <laughs> because you find you need to use it uh, when you pass urine, when you go and pass urine, you need it to like spray down there so that it doesn't actually sting so much. So yeah, petty bottle. The other thing I bought is this uh, witch hazel pads and uh, the aim to use this is to put the this little pads in the in your either underwear or maternity pads or the pull up pants whatever you use they're supposed to help suit it so the area so I'm gonna carry this with me it's, oh, this child <laughs> I'm out of breath but <laughs> talking too much <laughs> okay I'm also going to be taking with me uh, this disposable <clears throat> this disposable breath pad. I'm only going to take about 10 of this. Um, and then I'm also going to have the nipple cream. Same brand. Uh, got quite good reviews. So I'm going to take both of them with me. Um, and I think as far as our, you know, breast care and uh, vaginal care, that's all I'm going to take. Makeup-wise, I haven't really thought if I will carry makeup but if I do it will be just something like a skin tint some mascara and some eyeliner I highly doubt I'm going to be able to have the energy or the will to do my makeup after giving birth uh, especially when I have barely any will or energy now <laughs> so yeah I doubt it but if I do it will be the bare minimum um, also then I will be carrying some bits and bobs so I'm going to be carrying my bot bonnet with me I'm going to be also taking with me my lip balm um, and also I'm going to be taking with me a water bottle with a straw. I haven't got it because mine decided to recently like break so I need to buy a new one. <laughs> Perfect timing. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm going to buy a new water bottle with a straw. And also I'm going to be carrying with me its a uh, lead. So this is to charge my phone. This is an extra long lead. Uh, last thing I'm going to take with me is this fan. I know obviously in UK, as I said, the weather can be anything, but I was told the maternity unit sometimes can get quite uh, warm, or when you give it birth, it can be quite warm. So I'd rather just, I bought this in case I need it and in case I feel like I need to use it. It's a portable fan. And if I need to charge it, it fits with this lead as well, which is great. Then I'm also going to take with me this uh, toilet tissue. Uh, wet wipe um, in case I need in the toilet and uh, what else to say I think that's all I need obviously I'm gonna have to pack like a toothbrush toothpaste everything that I've uh, you know mentioned today uh, clothing wise especially for baby so everything for baby will be packed in a ziplock bag and labeled so if my husband if I can't get to the bag and, and I need to ask my husband, can you please get his, I don't know, going home after whatever it is, he, he will be able to get it because it's labelled and he, he will know which one um, is required. For my case, um, things like that, I'm going to leave it in the bottle, in the pa in the packaging, I mean, because I feel like if I was to take it out and put it in, se in separate package, it would make it more confusing for him because there will be too many bags. So I'll leave it in the bag, in the packaging, and if... I cannot get to it, he'll be able to just, you know, get it. If I say, get me the nipple cream, he can read, he'll know it says nipple cream. So I'm taking this luggage, which is like a hand luggage. 
I'm not think I think everything should fit in here, mine and baby stuff. I'm not planning to carry any other backpack or anything like that. My husband will have his own um stuff that he's gonna take with him. Um I've kinda of told him what you know, the kind of thing that he will need to carry with him, take with him to the hospital. Um so he probably is gonna pack that himself um this weekend. And then the very last thing we need to do together is snacks and um, just get a few snacks for me and for him since we have different tastes. So like uh, we haven't really decided what snacks we want but I think it will be something like quite light. So for me it will probably be like cereal bar. I want to buy some squares, chocolate because I think those are quite just easy to eat and digest. Um, I, d I doubt I will, have, I will want anything heavy. Uh, for me I was just thinking like cereal bar Lots of fluid, I uh, might just get some, um, no, Gatorade, not Lucas, I don't like Lucas, but some Gatorade or some like um, electrolytes, like a drink with electrolytes um, and things like that, just like sweets and <laughs> I guess maybe not too many, but some Haribo or something like that for myself. And uh, But yeah, we'll probably do that either this weekend or closer to the date because we don't want to like buy the snacks and then eat them. <laughs> I might have forgotten one or two things, but if I have, um, I'll just pop them down in the description box. And yeah, that would be all though. Um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed finding out uh, what I'm going to pack in my hospital bag. And yes, that's uh, it for today. That's the end of my video. It's quite exciting, um, this new journey. That, um, yeah, it's scary, I'm not going to lie. I find it quite scary. Um, not so much the, I think it's just like having a child, you know, having to take care of a child. That's a big, big responsibility. And, and knowing if I'm going to be a good mom, that's something that obviously can be quite scary. But I am excited. I've got support. And uh, obviously I'm going to do my absolute best. Uh, and obviously you guys can follow me through my journey. And advise me when they're quiet. <laughs> but that's all for me today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.